to say happy new year welcome to our year of greater victory in the name of jesus that is our theme for this year 2021 and our text is taken from first corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 first corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 i would like to ask every one of us to open our bibles to that scripture first corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 let's read it together i read but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This simple verse is loaded. It brings again thanks together with victory. And more importantly, tells us the source of victory. Hallelujah. That Jesus Christ is the source of victory. Jesus is our victory. Jesus is the victory to the world. Hallelujah. In the book of John, chapter 16, verse 33. John 16, verse 33. Let me just quickly look at that. So you see, there the Bible says, it was Jesus Christ who was speaking here. He said, these things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Jesus is the victory. And so Paul the Apostle, who understood this very well, put it down in the scriptures. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, that we read. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, whenever you use but, it's a contradictory condition. It means there was something that was going on the other side. And you said but, and that changes the direction. I want to say to you, this but will always be your own portion in the year 2021 in the name of Jesus. As I said it, Without missing words, the year 2021 will be rough. That's the only way I can describe it. As I said that the year 2020, fear and panic will grip humanity. That fear and panic will continue in the year 2021. And added to that will be shock. That's the third word I have told them. The third word that will add and that shock has a whole lot of things. Just the way fear and panic came from a whole lot of things. But I'm not going to spend time here talking about it. Fear and panic with shock. Shock of the feelings of the systems of men. Shock of the feelings or the failure of what men taught, it's impossible to fail. Shock from different directions. And that makes this victory very sweet. That in the midst of that, the Bible says, but thanks be to God. Oh, may we open our mouth and say, but thanks be to God. Who has given us the victory through Jesus Christ, our Lord? But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 
The Almighty God grant you and your family victory this year. The Almighty God grant you even greater victory this year. It is already guaranteed for you and me, for us and our families, that through Jesus Christ, we have victory. And that victory will be your portion throughout this year in the name of Jesus. I want to just mention a few things that we need to pay attention to, and then I will read one more, uh, one or two scriptures, and then we will pray. So this year, 2021, our year of greater victory, you need to develop what I call Holy Spirit given strategy for victory. Yes. Holy Spirit inspired strategy for victory. People of God, family of God, we have not had as much as we are supposed to have because we are not engaging the Holy Spirit enough. We studied last year that Holy Spirit is our divine helper. It is clearly written in John chapter 14, written in several places. In John chapter 14, uh, verse 16, I believe, 15 and 16, and also you go to verse uh, 26 and 27. Now, what will we do? In First Chronicle chapter 12, verse 32, First Chronicle chapter 12, verse 32, just to remind us, there you see amongst the people, the families that came to support David to make David king. You will see a family mentioned there. In verse 32, he said, of the sons of Issachar, who had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do, their chiefs were 200, and all their brethren were at their command. Here it is, their chiefs were only 200. If you read, the others were in thousands. This one, their chiefs were 200. But what happened, all their brethren were at their command. Why? Because they understood the times and what Israel ought to do. This will be the key for you and for me and for us to enjoy greater victory this year. It will be developing Holy Spirit-led strategic plan for victory. So, number one, as I said before, is to make yourself a thanksgiving to God. That this year, this life must glorify God. Make up your mind. Number two, is to abide in Jesus Christ, who is the only one that has conquered the devil, conquered the grave, conquered sin, conquered the world, conquered all, uh, and has given us victory, and has made us more than conquerors. As the scripture says, it says therefore, uh, as that scripture says in verse 57, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And then went on to say, therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. All you do serving God in spirit and in truth not just activity, but relating with the Holy Spirit and pleasing God in your service, in the giving of yourself, 
courting the Holy Spirit and developing this strategic plan for victory as we're talking about now. God will indeed enlarge you. The grace factor, the omega factor that we shared earlier will come to manifest, will come to play in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The next step is for you to remember that we are in the dispensation of faith in God. Brothers and sisters, there is no other way. And I'm so excited because this is what makes the difference. Faith in God. Grace is available, just like I talk, I mentioned already. The grace factor is there. But it is your application of that grace through faith that will manifest what you get, what you receive. Hallelujah. So you must really exercise, develop and exercise your faith in God. How do you do that? Study the word, the Bible. Study the promises. Pay attention to this, the teaching of those whom God has given the understanding, the keys of the kingdom of heaven and apply them to your life. Make up your mind to not chicken out this year. Hallelujah. And to not just stay around and hope that something will happen. Make up your mind that this year you will exercise faith. Exercise faith in God and in his word. That's how to exercise faith. It is in God and in his word. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. God is so faithful, brothers and sisters. So whatever God says to you, take it. Do it. And what God has said is already revealed in the Bible. And so study the promises of God. The other point after studying and knowing the promises of God is to confess the word. Speak it out. Declare it. Confess it. Learn the confession of the word. Don't speak your own word. Not your own word, but God's word. When you speak God's word, you will see it happen in your life. I've shared with you my application of 1 John chapter 5, verses 11 through 13. This is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his son. He that has the son has life. He that does not have the son does not have life. And I understood by that scripture that God has given me eternal life. God has given eternal life to humanity. Anyone that comes that, to Jesus, that has Jesus, has eternal life. And that eternal life is bigger than your mind can imagine. And so if you spend time exploring what that eternal life does for you, as I have been exploring, I'm still exploring. I came to understand that that eternal life means that I cannot be sick because I have received Eternal life, divine life, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus lives in me. Eternal life means life forever. Eternal life cannot die. No devil can kill you. Eternal life cannot be sick. Eternal life lives in divine life. Eternal life lives in divine provision. Eternal life lives in victory. Hallelujah. Oh, there are a whole lot of things. Even from that one scripture, you understanding and confessing that scripture continually to yourself till it becomes your reality. It becomes the life you live. That is what we're talking about. The next point is you have to walk hard because faith without walk is dead. And I want to call this hard work, 
working hard by faith. Working hard by faith. And then the last point, which is again where I started, is developing your Holy Ghost led strategy for the year 2021. What exactly do you want to achieve? It is that which you set out to achieve that you will work hard towards. If you have set nothing to achieve, you will walk randomly. And you may be walking hard like an elephant and yet eating like an ant. God forbid. In this year, it is your year of victory. Whatever strategy you are setting before God, led by the Holy Ghost, the Almighty God will supply grace for you to achieve it. So this will be our focus this year. How we get more from the Holy Spirit. Look with me at 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And you should really write this down, please. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. We start reading from verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Verse 10, that God has revealed them to us through his spirit. For the spirit searches all things. Yes, the deep things of God. It is the spirit that searches all things. And so as you engage the Holy Ghost, he will reveal the strategic plan that you should focus on and work hard by faith to accomplish that greater, sweeter, blessed victory this year. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I want us to read and pray with Psalm 91, verses 7 through 10. So our two cardinal scriptures this year, 2021, are 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. That's our text. And our key reference is Psalm 91, verses 7 through 10. Verses 7 through 10. So let us read it together and pray and round up. Remember, I had sent us a crossover prayer. So if you need to listen to that prayer, please play it for yourself and echo amen. It's active. As though we were together praying it face to face. It is the season. It is the dispensation of faith. You don't have to see it. You only have to believe. Mark chapter 9 verse 23. It says, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Hallelujah. Psalm 91 verse from verse 7, we'll read to 10. Let's read it together. A thousand may fall at your side, and, and ten, ten thousand, thousand at your right hand, but it shall ten not come near you. Only, Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I decree over you and your household. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The name that is above every other name. Amen. In the name of the Lord that is a strong tower and the righteous Amen. runs in and they Amen. are saved. Amen. That this scripture Amen. shall be your portion. Amen. This scripture, this word of God be a cover Amen. of you and your Amen. household. Amen. This word of God be a Amen. cover Amen. over us. In Thank the mighty name 
Jesus. Amen. Thousands Amen. shall fall at Amen. Amen. By our right hand, they shall not come near us. Amen. Amen. Only with our eyes, we shall Amen. see how Amen. institutions fail. Amen. How Amen. the schemes of men fail. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, our victory, Amen. we shall be victorious. Amen. Amen. In the year 2021, in Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Because we have made the Lord Jesus. Made God. Our Lord, our Savior. Because we have made God Almighty the most high. Our Lord and our Father. No shall us. Amen. No place shall come near our dwelling. Amen. No place shall come near our business. Amen. No place shall come near our children. Amen. Amen. No place shall come near our spouses. Amen. Amen. Thing that concerns us. Amen. But we shall have victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. We shall have victory in the name of the Lord. Amen. In the year 2021, yes. we shall have greater victory. Amen. Amen. And all glory be to our God and our Father. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.